Welcome back to Money Math. Today we're still in the ratios and proportions section of the state test prep series. Let's take a look at exercises involving the words percent, is, and of. In general, when you are solving an exercise using these three words, you can rely on the structure of a proportion, is, over of relates to the part over the whole and then we're mapping that to the percent of 100 scale. There's another structure in math you can use to solve percent is of exercises, and that's the equation structure. In this case, the part equals the whole times the percent, where the percent is written as a decimal. Let's look at an example. 30% of $80 is how much? First, let's use the equation. We need to identify the part, the whole, and the percent. The percent as a fraction is 30 over 100, and as a decimal is 30 hundredths or 3 tenths. Of $80, of relates to the whole. Is how much? The question is related to the word is, so we don't know the part. The part is missing, so I can use P to represent the missing part, equals the whole, which is 80, times the percent, as a decimal. You could rewrite the decimal as a fraction. We can simplify 30 hundredths to 3 tenths. We can cross cancel. 80 divided by 10 is 8, then we're left with 8 times 3, which is 24. 24 what? $24. Let's check our work using the proportion structure. I don't know is, so I'll use a question mark of 80 equal to 30 of 100. To solve this proportion, I can think about I can use equivalent fractions or a ratio table to solve this proportion. If 30 is to 100, I'm trying to figure out what 80 is to. So half of 100 is 50, half of 30 is 15. I can do a tenth of 100 is 10, a tenth of 30 is 3, double 10 is 20, double 3 is 6. 100 minus 20 is 80, and then the corresponding values to those holes are 30 minus 6, and that's 24. So yes, the part is $24.